Hey everybody and welcome back to the Little Mind Catchers channel. This is Mommy, the Mind Catcher, and I just wanted to share with you guys our protein treatment day for me and Gabby. I'm going to share with you guys a few clips of myself doing the protein treatment on my hair and Gabby. I use the same protein treatment on both of us. I use G. Uh, this is the two-step protein treatment. It says for serious care and protection. It stops hair breakage, rebuilds hair structure for six weeks, and it's ideal for processed or natural hair. So, um, at, you guys have been watching the Little Mind Catchers channel for a while now. I told you guys that uh, Gabby seemed to be going through some sort of a change with her hair right around the face it seemed to be getting a little shorter i'm not understanding that way in the back of her head is still retaining that length but the front is something going on i didn't know whether she was picking with her hair if she's um you know sometimes kids have a nervous habit to just pick or do something i'm not sure so i try now to braid the front or twist the front down and away from her forehead i was thinking maybe her hair was in her face causing her to mess with a little bit more so anything that i can do to try to strengthen that area and to retain the length in that area that's what i'm doing now both girls are taking their vitamins we're trying to change our eating habits i also was told by a hair care professional and by her doctor that um she's changing she's getting older uh teeth are falling out teeth are growing in she's getting taller uh so maybe it's just a hormonal change uh just like with us adults uh after a while your hair may just change uh from being a teenager to my 20s my hair changed uh after going natural i noticed quite a bit of change i went through a very big growth spurt with my natural hair. I also went through a time when my hair was stagnated and wasn't doing anything. So I implemented trimming a little bit more often uh, with myself and with the girls. I'm now trimming their hair every two months. I've, I've narrowed it down to about every two months now. I've been doing a lot of deep conditioning lately. Um, I'm trying to deep condition every single time I wash. I'm also going back to the lock method. I did stray away from it j just for a little bit, but I'm going back to that. It seems like her hair is just slowly going back to its Gabby-liciousness, and I'm very, very happy about that. While you guys are watching the video, I just wanted to make mention that before I washed her hair, I separated her hair, detangled and everything using the um, Curls Unleashed. This is from ORS. Curls Unleashed for Kids. It's a mango and orange uh, fragrance. It is not a chance daily detangler. This stuff works very, very well. So I sprayed a little water in her hair. I do have my little spray water bottle, whatever that is. Um, here it is here. I sprayed a little water in her hair and sprayed a little bit of this in her hair allowed it to sit there just for a few seconds saturate i used a big tooth comb and cleared her hair out and made sections of loose plaits so that i would be ready for the next day so that's how she went to sleep i am a big fan of separating their hair and getting it detangled for uh wash day you guys i have a prep for wash day video but of course my products have changed since then I don't mind trying new things. Anything that detangles very well, I don't mind trying. This stuff works pretty good. Pretty darn good. So if you see it in the store, it has my stamp of approval. It does work. All right, so wash day. All I had to do was untwist uh, or unravel the little um, soft plaits and twists that I had in her hair with the sections. And I washed in sections. Guys, you have no idea how much trouble you get into when you have a child with a lot of hair or a lot of thick hair and you don't wash in sections. Once it gets all mushed up together, you have more problems. Uh towards the end of wash day so i just like to keep everything separated these little clips will be your best friend so get those clips if you can find them even smaller depending on how much hair your child has if you can find them even smaller go ahead and get those and wash in sections if your child doesn't have a whole lot of thick hair 
then you're possibly going to be okay, but these saved my life. After I initially washed her hair with the shampoo for damaged hair, and this is from Apogee. It doesn't have, let me see here, hmm, that's not a smell to really write home about. You know, just smells like shampoo. Uh, I washed with that. It doesn't really offer any detangling. It doesn't offer any slip or anything like that. It's just a very good clean. That's the best I can say about it. It really cleans well. All right, after I did that, I went and I started to apply the two-step protein treatment. After completely saturating every part of her hair with this uh, protein treatment, then you can allow it to air dry, or if you want to uh, make the process a little quicker, you can sit her underneath a cool dryer for a while. You can hold a blow dryer and make the hair dry, but this stuff needs to sit on until the hair is dry. It's going to feel very brittle and hard, but that's what you want. It needs to be dry. It's even going to be sticky along uh, the hairline line and everything is going to be sticky on your hands it's going to be sticky everywhere so make sure you clean up all around now we're rinsing gabby's hair out and i can feel that her hair is softened after the rinse out it, it's very very soft after that, I go ahead and apply the Apogee Balancing Moisturizer. I did not find the big bottle of this I, in uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. I only found the packs like these. So that was a little, uh, that, that kind of upset me because I wanted to do Nadia's hair. But as you can see, I had enough for my hair. I had enough for Gabby's hair, but I didn't have enough for Nadia's hair. So this is the Balancing Moisturizer. It's for serious care and protection. You can feel the hair softening up with this on it. It definitely softens the hair right back up. And it's also a very good idea to deep condition after you do this treatment so that your hair softens up because this, of course, is not enough for all of that hair. So I use my... Uh, which is not sitting next to me right now. I use my 10 and 1 from Shea Moisture, the deep conditioning mask. And I allowed her to sleep with that mask on because by then I was very tired. So Gabby got a plastic cap and she got her uh, satin cap. And I also put down a nice uh, drying towel on her pillow just in case she had a little spillage overnight. But I made sure it wasn't dripping wet and overnight it just sat on her hair and she's a pretty good sleeper she's not all over the place like her baby sister so the deep conditioner set in her hair very nicely the next morning we were ready to wash out so as you can imagine gabby's hair is super super soft very very manageable i was able to just about comb straight through her hair i did apply a little bit of the ors curls unleash uh in or out conditioner this one smells like coconut and shea butter it smells so so good and uh this one moisturizes and detangle you can rinse this out or you can leave it in I chose to leave it in so you and you notice in the clip I'm only putting a little bit on my hand for each section it made the hair so soft and I think it will work very well for little little kids who don't have a lot of coarseness to their hair you would love this uh, the older the kid gets the more the texture kind of sets in and it gets a little coarse with time but um it works pretty good it works pretty darn good and the smell the, both of the kids love the smell and also as a twisting butter i use the camille rose naturals almond jai twisting butter and that's what the bottle looks like this can be found in sally's beauty supply that's where i found it um it may be in uh target and some other places but i got mine from sally's it smells delicious guys this stuff smells so good i only put apply just a bit in her hair and twisted it up now I have not taken her twist out since this video her hair is still twisted up I also apply my blue magic organics grease I have a whole video on that I applied that directly to her scalp and uh, I really think that that helps out with growth so I put that on her scalp 
and her hair is doing well it is very soft to the touch it smells very fresh it has lots of nice bounce to it elasticity i'm really loving it um, i can't wait to untwist her hair and wear it out in a headband or something like that if we're going out i also use the camille rose twisting butter on my hair so this is the twist out that i got My hair smells fresh. It feels super soft and uh, it, it's, it's so manageable, guys. It is so manageable. I did a little bit of clipping on my own ends, but I am loving the product. So if this is any indication of how Gabby's twist out is going to look, it's going to be gorgeous. Personally, I wouldn't do a protein treatment on a child under the age of six or five. That's me personally. Maybe uh, you can ask a, a healthcare professional or um, a hairstylist. Somebody that's certified to do hair. But me personally, I would not have put protein treatment in uh, Nadia's hair if she was five years old. This year, I feel a little bit more comfortable doing it. But at five and below, no. I'm very, very happy with the results that we both have at the moment. I think I'm going to do Nadia's hair. It's just going to be a Nadia day because, oh, my little baby, she she does not like getting her hair done. Everybody knows Nadia is my crybaby. So uh, we will see. Maybe closer to Christmas we're going to do a protein treatment. She doesn't necessarily need it right now. At this moment, Nadia's hair is really thriving. It's getting longer and thicker and longer and thicker. I don't know what I'm doing per se that's maybe she's just going through a growth spurt in the right direction, but her hair is really growing long and thick right now. So we're going to leave well enough alone. If I notice any shedding or anything going wrong, then I'll switch things up. But for right now, we're doing our lock treatment. We're doing our shampoos and conditioners. Uh, every once in a while, mommy creates her own shampoo using uh, black soap, black African soap and uh my own leave-in conditioners but when mommy doesn't feel like mixing up all of those products mommy goes to the store so that is what we have right here this is what we're using the ors curls unleashed and i am loving it i'm really loving it for right now okay so you guys give it a try and let me know what you think. If you've tried any of these products, uh, you guys leave me a comment down below. I always read all the comments. I try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. I do have my own YouTube channel, so I'm busy, busy, busy. But I do come over here and check their questions and I try to answer you guys. So leave me anything. If you've tried the ORS children's line, if you've tried the Afo G on your channel, or yourself and you want to leave a tidbit uh, something that you think can help out some other parents and um, if you've tried the Camille Rose any more of her products you guys tried this is the first time I've ever tried anything from the line and I'm very impressed so you guys let me know all right cyber kisses and I'll see you guys in the next video or the kids will for that matter this is not my channel talk to you guys later bye